Bill Stack will keep you in the know. Give a big Bill Stack will fix your techie woes. Then we'll break the tumble, make this till we're all together raking, and we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big Bill Stack. In the big Bill Stack, come and join us. Fire crew in the big Bill Stack. We will show you what to do. Now we'll hack it till we crack it, and we'll tell the world about it, and forget to tidy up. That's why it's now a Bill Stack. Hello and welcome to episode 017 of the Bilge Tank. Hi. From Sheffield on Sea. Mm hmm. Bad weather out there today. Yeah, yeah, we're a crew short as well. We are a crew short. Yeah. Uh, Phil is, you know. Phil's a bit under the weather. He's so got scurvy. Um, yeah, no. Threw him overboard. You can't carry dead weight. Yeah, that's a waste it. of time. Ballast, my friend. Ballast. Um, but of course, he'll be back next week. So yeah. That's okay. Undead. <laughs> Undead. Undead. Zombie to the end. Undead and unscurvy fight. Mm -hmm. um, so we miss you, Phil, you know, <coughs> next time. Come back soon. Uh, let's have a quick look at what's been happening this week. And it's not all about Zero. In fact, it's not about Zero at all, because we can't get hold of them. More of that later. <laughs> soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. New stuffs. New stuffs. New no, I haven't got the new stuffs. I killed the title okay. accidentally. Sorry. Never mind. Let's just go straight to it. Um, yeah. The big thing last week was the Astro Pi launch. So there are now two Raspberry Pis in orbit. I think I assume they've docked with the space station and been unloaded by now. I didn't now. keep up with that. Yeah, no, it was supposed to be yesterday. Was it yesterday? We might have missed something important. There might be like no <laughs> ISS now. It's possible, but it's probably not the Pi's fault if that's yeah. the case. Just scenes of astronauts on the ISS just playing Minecraft. <laughs> <coughs> it's definitely possible. Sorry, we cannot science today. We have a pie. Yeah, well, it was um, it was a really great launch. Uh, it had been scrubbed a couple of times, and I'd stayed up every night to watch it, and then, because I go to bed quite early, young daughter. Yeah. Um, but stayed up every night to watch it, and then finally they, they, they got it all, everything lined up. Four minutes has never lasted so long. No, no. Repeatedly. <laughs> Not quite. Reset four minutes. No! Well, it was disappointing sitting there watching it and like hearing, you know, you understand the realism, uh, you know, what happens. But thinking about the, the guys at Pi Towers kind of sitting there waiting and. Yeah. Yeah, that must have been so frustrating. Much certification, design, Lord knows what else. Yeah. That's yep. it. So very exciting. They're up there. Um, it's, this is basically a Raspberry Pi with a Sense hat, which is the Astro Pi hat, um, in a custom aluminium enclosure. Yeah. Very, very cool. And I think it, basically the idea is they're going to let. Um, school kids write programs. Yeah, the programs are on there already. Oh, they t they took yeah. preloaded, so they yeah they they've taken it, loaded up the programs, going to run scientific experiments. Yep, and bring the results back. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Internet's a bit sucky in space. It is. Should we have a quick look at the launch? Here's, a, here's an animated <sighs> GIF on the Raspberry Pi site. Okay. They've got um. Let's go. Let's go let's full. Go, let's go full beans. They uh, have a really nice blog post with a lot of technical detail about. Um, how hard it is to take two tiny computers into space. So it's yep. well worth a read. Um, but yeah, I'd never watched a Cygnus launch, uh, not a Cygnus launch, an Axe 5 launch before. And it was, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool actually. Yeah, went better than last time, didn't it? It did. But they, they've done hundreds of launches now, haven't they? Yeah, Atlas Five's done quite a lot. I'm mean, 60 or something? Well, they're, they're doing a lot. Apparently they're going to the do something program. like yeah. 30 next year alone, which yeah. is really, yeah, that's a lot of launches. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, Tim Peake, I think, is due to fly on the 15th, which is the British astronaut who will be running the Astro Pi projects on the ISS. Yep. Um, so, yeah, we get another launch this week, next week, um, with Tim Peake going up there. Yeah. Should have sent a piano hat up there. Ooh. And he could have, like, done his own space oddity. Space oddity, yeah, yeah. That would have been pretty cool, actually. With a proper David Bowie <laughs> accent. <clears throat> um, so that was cool. And then uh, the other thing we saw this week, which I think a lot of people saw, very, very cool. Uh, someone modded an original Xbox controller and basically embedded a Pi Zero in it to make it a fully contained um, kind of retro gaming console. Yeah. Pretty cool. We showed that before, but if you look on Hackaday, they've got... Oh, did you really show this? I yeah, haven't been here for two we, episodes. We covered it, yeah. Oh, boy, do I feel you know, In your absence. Sorry. Yeah, it's weird to be back. It's been a couple of weeks since I did an episode, but no, it's a, it's a really good project on Hackaday, so yep. it's well worth a look. Yeah, but they've got things like the they've got a DAC one now, which is not as good as the fat DAC, but small. Thing. What's that? Sorry, they've got a DAC hack DAC on hack? there using somebody else's DAC oh, hack. Oh right, I but see. Yeah, the yeah. fat DAC is like way better. Okay. Andrew Singleton, bit of a constant question though, of mine. I've seen those sixteen by four or even twenty by four LED displays. 
but are there any 80 times whatever LED displays? So these are the character displays. Yeah, I think specifically we're talking LCD here. And yeah. yeah, character ones. I think there may be ones as wide as 80 characters. Yeah. But it's Just look through AliExpress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's gone all meta again. Mm. Has it gone all meta? Oh, we're trapped in a browser. Who? Yeah, there we go. I like that. That's kind of cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we're getting smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Can you bring anyway, us back? So there might be out there. Uh, we've seen uh, displays. Somebody's done an LCD display that's long and thin like that. So it specifically fits in a 1U rack display, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is amazing. They cost like $2,000 probably, but yeah. Yeah, this is the main thing. Basically, the 16 by 2s and 16 by 4s are so popular because they're used in everything. So they're yeah. basically just dirt cheap. This is the thing. If you make a million of something, it gets very cheap and very available. There you go, it's a 40 by 2 on Farnell. Um, these, they will get progressively more expensive the further you kind of move away from from the absolute standard, really, the volume units. So yeah, yeah. they're like 30 quid each. Mm -hmm. um, but they're out there, just dig around and see what you can find. Yep. Brilliant. <laughs> also, what else is happening? Uh, we launched Flotilla, so there's now papercraft and boxes and things shipping out to people. We should have brought a kit up here. Yeah, we yeah. didn't. Anyway, yeah. Flotilla is shipping, which is really, that's, that's really great. It's terrible that it arrived with Pi Zero, Black Friday, and Christmas. <sighs> but we are so wrecked. That is how the. How We've actually had mind. some sleep now, haven't we? We have had some yeah. sleep. It's all right. Yeah, there was a weekend, so we packed parcels and had some sleep. Yeah. And I think we're pretty much catching up. We're now mostly into parcels this week. Yep. Um, so if you're waiting, just hang in there a bit longer. We're really catching up on the backlog. Um, everything will be great soon. Yeah, the, yeah, it's it's yeah. not as bad now. We are getting there. People um, asking about more Pi Zero stock. We still don't have a confirmed shipping date yet. We haven't got a tracking number for any new stock, but we we expect it to be really freaking close. Wales have been working as hard as they can to turn them out. And um, that's Wales, the country. Not a lot, not like. They'd be, they'd be terrible at it. Big flippers, tiny components. But, you know, in that Bailey, they could carry a lot of Pi Zeros. Just like so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use the ice peak well? Do you use the <laughs> um, So, yeah. we won't be silent about it. And we'll tell everybody what's happening in terms of who gets notified. Because, obviously, you can sign up on our shop for notifications. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done that, do that now. Um, and, basically, the earlier you sign up for notifications, if we get like a thousand or two thousand pi zeros in will notify two thousand people that they're back in stock that doesn't mean those people will get the reserve stock first come first served so yeah. look out for that happening and they will go really quick there's well over fifty thousand people signed up for notifications now there ain't that many pi zeros around yet no but, but I'm, I'm production will ramp up over time um, yeah we are like every day this week i've been like today's the day they're coming today um but l literally it is any day so yeah. we're just waiting and for i think the problem is they're still making pi twos as fast as they can and that's mm. still not enough pi twos are still selling at an incredible rate over a quarter of a million in october this year mm -hmm. and that's like that's a big number i yeah. mean you know it's ridiculous numbers it's good it's well, i think pi can still go bigger though there's, mm -hmm. there's always new stuff coming they're refining the experience it's got no red on there now so it's all internet of things mm -hmm. Microsoft have blessed the pie and kind of dumped the uh, what do you call it the we've done, we've done custom cases for Microsoft and Ubuntu for the pie so yeah. that's kind of cool like people people are very interested in it big businesses are interested yeah. in it it feels like it's just getting into the stride of where it should be as an idea Definitely. world changing and then the zero as well Zero, yeah. the zero <coughs> as a, Beautiful as a platform canvas. has a, yeah has time. It needs yeah. to mature a little bit with with the ecosystem products that go around it and, and make mm -hmm. it easier to work with. Um, but yeah, four quid it opens up a lot of things. Speaking yep. of zero, mm -hmm. we are adding a kind of project kit to our yep. range, which will be available as soon as the zeros land. And should we go close up? Really well placed close up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you get this nice little um, set of. Stuff you get your Pi Zero, you get a Pi Bo Zero, my not my mug, that's my uh, scroll fat. A nice yeah. little introduction card that tells you where the GPIO stuff is and all the adapters and you know right angle header. So you'll right get angle headers. male header, female header, right angle header, the case which works with the right angle headers as well. Mm -hmm. So you can make a little desktop scroll display, all that kind of thing, and it's all it's all very complete at a very good budget price. We're expecting to be. 1950. 1950. I think. Yeah, we're still working on that. Yeah. But basically, you say you'll save about three and a half quid off buying all the bits individually. Yeah. Um, which is pretty nice. But the reason we've done this one specifically is the scroll fats 
um, a great little starter to do yeah. projects immediately. So you kind of solder it together and straight away you can start doing scrolling messages and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we thought as a kind of project starter kit, it'd yeah. be quite nice. And we, we may do something um, similar with the Explorer hat and like the Explorer hat Pro parts kit that we have. So the new flats will be coming through stuff. in the new year now as well. Yes, uh, yep. yes the Wi-Fi <coughs> internet things fat and GPS fat. Enviro and hat, like all of that. Yeah, all underway. So exciting cool. times. What else have we got new while we're on the close up? We have well, we have also uh, we got a load of new iFixit stuff. People are loving iFixit. Like yeah. I, I knew it was going to be popular because the brand is great. Yeah, but, they make wow. good stuff and they do good stuff, and um, that's that's just unassailable. It is. It's, it's really nice. I mean, you know, you could argue that packaging doesn't matter, but I think it matters, and I think I think they just do a great job of it. We've brought in um, as the new the, the macro bit set. There's yeah. 54 standard quarter inch um, bits. For, uh, seven, 97. 97. One, 54 sorry. is the small kit. So 54 this is the small. One. Yeah. So this basically has just has like everything. I'm just gonna, open it up because it's a really nice case. I'm going to spudge it. This, open. Is, this is mine. Hey, Paul, I've got a metal spudger. Spudger. Which, which is a big reveal for the next product. <laughs> there we go. Metal spudger. We on the close up. There we go. <laughs> So inside, obviously you get your box, um, but you get this nice kind of case. Yeah, really good case. So these these things are very present friendly. So if you're looking for a nice last minute Christmas present for somebody who likes good kit, good tools, Descent. there you go. And that's just every single bit you could want. You've got like weird pentalobe stuff. You've got those horrible split head. Um, these these guys down here, the weird kind of security <laughs> flat head, screw heads, um, yeah. obviously extension shaft. It's just like there's everything in there. Yeah, and if you haven't got it in there, you've got something that will hack it. So you could actually probably turn on the kind of duck key light switches that you have in buildings where they don't want you to mess with the lights. Quite possible. I mean, I yeah. think you could so wreak all sorts would... of havoc with this. Yeah, it's it's a great selection. <clears> and if you want something pieces. good to go with that, we have the the iFixit handle as well. Yeah, we have the driver. Which is separate, um, but but if you want a really solid piece of kind of aluminium steel, I don't know, you should check out. I think it's steel, I think. But it, it feels heavy and weighty, and oh. it's just a good driver for if you really want to turn stuff. That's one heck of a driver, Paul. Yeah, and you could do, you know, put that in a sock. You could do some damage with that. You could indeed. Yeah. So um, again, solid stuff. Yeah, no, it's just a really nice set. I, I also love that the iFixit stuff always has "Repair is Noble" written on it. <laughs> it's a very nice tagline. Um, as well as the macro bit set and the driver handle, we've also added a metal spudger set. So we already carried a couple of uh, iFixit spudgers, the plastic ones, um, but sometimes you need something a little bit stronger. Obviously these aren't as good for um, opening things that you don't want to cause any damage to. They're for yeah. more specific situations. The plastic ones really. are more for the phone screens, these are more for stuff that's a bit, needs a bit yeah. more of. But it's nice. It's also delicacy. Or amateur dentistry. Oh yeah, home surgery, amateur dentistry, Which is all nice. good. Yeah. Um, but there's a real kind of array of Hack your own options teeth. in there. So basically, if you can't get it open with these, it was never meant to be opened. <laughs> I think it's basically like the Ark of the Covenant or something. Yeah, uh, we don't include foam shrimps. Uh, they're ours, hands off. Foam shrimps? Foam shrimps. Foam, foam shrimps. shrimps. More on that in a minute. Yeah. Uh, and what else do we have? Photons. We've got the photons, photons finally. finally. <laughs> so we spent a lot of time trying to get photon uh, into but, the UK. Yeah. But it's such a great, like, oh, I just love the little box again. It's such a great little um, kind of wireless Internet of Things tinkering platform that we knew we knew we wanted to stop it. So alongside the micro bit and things like the Arduino and everything, there's a big bun fight in microcontrollers going on. Um, and Photon is one of the better options there. It's been around a while now. They've got a really good solution. It's really neat. It's got a really pretty silk. Um, so it's one of the leaders. Microbit, they're going to dump a million microcontrollers on the market. They're obviously a lot less powerful than, say, the Pi Zero, even, but they're meant for low-power applications. So there's going to be Microbit, there's going to be the Photon, there's going to be Arduino when they eventually kind of stop messing about and get out of the legal stuff and get shipping again. Yeah, well, I think um, Jim Wino is just around the corner now. I yeah. need to, I've, I've got an email from them and I need to respond. So. Yeah. We got there in the end, off. didn't we? We did get there in the so, end. It's very exciting. Yeah, there'll be this big bun fight between all these things. So we're trying to offer the ones we like the best. Oh, um, Adafruit's feather. Uh, yeah, we got a load of the feather stuff in there. Yeah. We got their Bluetooth um, feather. Because they've got nice. a good Bluetooth stack at Adafruit. They do indeed. They spend a lot of time on that. They know what they're doing. Yeah. So we've got the photons now, so you can choose your Internet of Things microcontroller platform of choice. Yeah. 
Yeah, Photon, Photon is definitely one of my favourite. It's just, it's such a cute little thing. It's nicely implemented. Um, we've got the Photon itself with headers, which is, is this one here. Um, they do do a version without headers, and we might bring that in if there's enough demand, but we started off with just the headers version. Uh, and we've also got a little Photon starter kit, which gives you your Photon, and little bits and pieces in there, a little USB cable, a couple of components to kind of build a blinking LED project. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little intro. We should test uh, the time to board. You need to go back to them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. We need, like, we need a drawn rectangle or something on this table. Yeah, we keep moving the camera there. There we go. Show the components as well. Uh, ta -da. Yeah. There we go. It's just a basic getting started kit so you can do time to blink. Yeah, so you can just go in there and have a go. There's, a, there's an LDR in there, there's an LED, a couple of resistors, so I guess, yeah, some sort of temperature um, sensor stroke indicator type thing, mm. which is pretty sweet. What is this the same as the Spark that was kickstarted? Yeah, so Spark, uh, they used to call the Spark Particle or Spark That's Core. Yeah. Um, they're now renamed as, yeah, Photon. Spark, the company, is now Particle. Yeah. And what used to be the core is now the photon. So it's yeah. now the particle photon instead of the spark core, I think yeah. is how it goes. It's still spark.io, but there was, yeah, trademark stuff, so they moved. Yeah, it's a great it's a great name, though. I kind of prefer particle photon. And obviously with spark fun, you don't really want to be another yeah. thing called spark in that kind of space. Yeah, and the trouble spark fun had with sun. Because apparently spark fun is too <coughs> close to SPARC, -E I think. Right, oh, spark. Okay, so they yeah. started sending nasty grams, and eventually mm. spark fun said, guys, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. And yeah. Let's all be friends. And they, yeah, they have peaceful coexistence now. That's nice. Yeah. But some, some, some do mean things. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, we just work around them. We do. That's yeah. okay. So also, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the other one that I'm really excited about. It's <laughs> Bold, Bold Ports Buggy. So this yeah. is by Sa Saar Drimmer, and I think I pronounced that horribly wrong. Um, but he Saar, goes he Mr. goes by Bold Port on, yeah. uh, online, and he basically does PCB art. He's written his own software for designing PCB layouts, lets him use all sorts of interesting, uh, kind of interesting curves and things yeah. in his designs. And this is a little solder it yourself kit. Very cute, great for kids. Um, Good silk screens always, yeah. It's got a uh, kind of a normal cell battery and a little on-off switch, and I believe the LEDs themselves are just blinking LEDs. So and the legs are resistors. Oh yeah, you, the, the, the legs, you saw they're on little legs made out of resistors. <laughs> Was that autofocus? Uh, not so much. No, no, not so much. But it's a very cute little thing. Uh, we could look at it on the website. Yeah, but that's less like just watching us. Uh, no, I know, but it's got a much better picture. That's true, yeah. And I, I prepped it, Paul. I'm a professional. <laughs> Come on. There you go. So okay. you can really see it there. So it's a lovely yeah. little kit. Great for getting kids um, interested in doing a bit of soldering and, and basically having a play. The only caveat that I would point out is that the switch is an SMT switch. So the soldering is, you know, it's 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 not going to be the easiest. But yeah, but you, it's you can relatively SMT straight solder. solder. Yeah, I mean, look yeah. at the pitch on it. It's not fine. Yeah. Any, I think anyone who gave it a go could do that. It's yeah. just... It's good for learning, levelling up You might not solving. expect it, definitely. Yeah. But really nice little kit. He's actually they're being manufactured by Evil Mad Scientist Labs. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you know, as a, as a kind of contract thing, I think. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Nice little screen. Nice little PCB. It's cute. Good stocking filler. Yep. Definitely. Oh, yeah. We'll put up our Christmas recommendation soon. <laughs> it's getting close <laughs> to the line now. The Christmas recommendation is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Get cool stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so we have, these will be on the website later today or tomorrow morning, so watch out for these. New from Small Machines, designed and manufactured in Sheffield and based on actual uh, medieval instruments of war, Actually, we have these. I think, I want to say he was working with Leeds Armouries on this, and I can't, I can't I remember exactly. We're well, not allowed to say he's working with Leeds Armouries. Well, sorry, maybe. not working with it, but I think they're based on designs that were in the Armouries or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they have documents. There's some, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Their so, archives. So these have little paper balls that come with them. Build your own kind of medieval instruments of war. So this is the ballista. <coughs> oh, nice shot. Yep. I want to fire one. Okay. Oh, that, that's the. Yeah, not full of coins. <laughs> oh no. The, no, no, they're, that's they're, just they're, the, they're that's counterweight. the counterweight. Wait, wait. So how do I? How do I even? So you put the slinger on the ball, and hook the sling over the end. Uh oh, right. Okay, like this. Yeah, hook it over the end. Yeah. Pull it back. So this is this the, is not going to work. This is your trebuchet. You've, you've pulled you've, pull back the ball. Pulled back the ball. You've totally just given me the tricky one. Yeah, I'm still holding the ball. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. You're unhooked, man. It is. It, it totally unhooked. Right, let's try that again. Okay, so trebuchet. Yep. Pull it all back. 
Oh, hang on. There's a thing here. What's, What's the thing? One? What's what this? thing? Where? There's a, there's a book there. Oh. You're pulling it the wrong way. No. Uh, You're pulling it the uh, wrong way. Yeah, okay. Man. Look. How can you not ha know how to use medieval war instruments? I just was, it's like I was, a life I was skill. busy at the time. I was doing something else. <laughs> right, okay. So we do basically that. I think we're going to have to go up the edge of the table. This is gonna be this is gonna be terrible. How does that even hook on there now though? Is it, oh. See, see, it works. No, no, I appreciate it. Fine. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. Do you, do you want to do the catapult? Do I get to do the catapult? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So this one's very cool. It uses like a twisted rope style, uh, <laughs> style trigger. Air trigger. <laughs> air trigger. <laughs> That's touchy. Three, two, whoop. Sorry. I'm upgrading to a foam shrimp. <laughs> I think it, Oh, you do that. To be a foam shrimp. I'm gonna play with the trebuchet while you do that. Okay, you try and do that. Okay, foam shrimp loaded. I kind of feel like you should run around the other side and attempt to catch this in some sort of glorious. I'm getting no way in the way. Here we go. Here we go. Foam shrimp away. Now that, that's, that's not bad. pretty good. So hook that on there. Okay. Oh, man, this this. Yeah, but that's tipping off that. So I, I think we're doing it wrong. You think? I think we're doing it wrong. No, it's supposed to lose like that. It's supposed to go. Right. It's supposed to, otherwise, you know, it's, there's no way to throw. You can't throw, man. You can't throw. It's got to throw. Well, that we'll seems to be below that. Yeah. We'll have to get some training. Yeah. Maybe just trigger it from like halfway and just pretend it's fine <laughs> and we, we know what we're doing. Because <laughs> if we hadn't mentioned the hook, no one would have even thought of the hook, right? Yeah. Go. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Yeah. Need cool. some work on the angle there, but. <laughs> that kind of cool bubbles. <laughs> They're laser cut just down the road from us. Uh, yeah. Nice guy called Giles who. Um, He's the reason we have Connor. Yeah, he is the reason we have yeah. So I suppose we've never really forgiven him. But Small machines, they're awesome. Yeah. We've, yeah. we've had some of their kits on the site before, and they're just nice kits. Yeah. Stuff for people uh, to use. Big thank you to Anonymous Donor. <laughs> Not so anonymous. I think I think we can reveal. <laughs> we got, in the post, we got this. Treasure chest pinata. Yeah. Which is absolutely stuffed with sweets. But we thought we'd keep it intact so we could show you guys. A team point. with the mysterious notes. Mm. It says packing infinite zeros earns reward of eating sweets, which itself spells pi zeros. Which would have been truly mysterious had I not received a dispatch notification with the name of the sender. <laughs> um, much, much to their chagrin, because they thought they thought we didn't know. But it's lovely, and we really like it. So we're going to beat the crap out of this maybe yep. tomorrow, or maybe before a Christmas party. Well, hopefully, if we can get some little drones in, we can have like drone drone water. Ooh. That'd be interesting. It feels heavy though. I think it's good stuff in here. Yeah. Might be some grog. Yeah, there was even some fish and chips stuff in it, which is proper pirate food. Foam yeah. shrimps, fish and chips. Or this, fish, this, fish will and sort, this will sort Phil scurvy out. Mm. Some good quality English grub. Yeah, with vinegar. Sorry, foam it. shrimps. So thank you very Talk much, much anonymous benefactor, for the uh, treasure chest pinata. So, we got anything else? No, say? that's us. Short show this week. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. Um, ask us questions for next time and watch out for zeros anytime soon. Yeah, I think we're good. I saw that box on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. See right. you later, folks. Well, hopefully, um, the Yard Beauty prizes will be going out hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be in packing at the weekend anyway, so it might be we do them on Saturday. But yeah. you have no idea how many orders we have. <laughs> we have like 10 times our normal order volume for, yeah. uh, for days. But we've leveled up. We've basically yeah. rewritten the warehousing system in the last week or two. Which is good, actually. We're feeling a bit Adafruit about that because yeah. they write their own shop software. They started with, I think, my PHP cart, and now it's basically unrecognizable, the stuff they've added to it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So John's basically written something called Pirate Ship. Yeah, our warehousing system is called Pirate Ship. Yeah. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Okay. See you later, folks. See you soon. Bye.